Hi hey guys and welcome back. Um, so last time I made this function calculate precision, uh, I made one error. Um, the input, uh, the argument here is not going to be an array because you're only going to be uh, calculating the precision precision of one point, which mean it, which means it will only have one x value and one y value and one z value. So just make these simple doubles. I'm going to change this instead of a void. It's going to be a double. So it will return something. I'm just going to return zero. Um, calculate precision, and then I'm going to write x, x. Which means that uh, we will calculate the precision x um, uh, to where it will be should be drawn on the screen, and we will do the same for y. Okay, cool. So. Now in this 3D polygon, instead of writing X here and Y here, um, we are going to make a new uh, double, new double array, and set it equal to. Oh, whoops. Um, new X. Just going to set it equal to new double, and then I'm gonna. Just figuring out what to do. Yes, I'm actually gonna add a new. Uh, no, uh, I'm gonna in here this the size of this array. I'm gonna set it to the x and length. Sorry, length of the uh, x, which means pretty much how many points there are. Um, so I'm gonna run an array and loop here. So I can just write x here instead, same thing. And then every time this loop runs, I'm gonna change this new x into this calculated x, calculated x position. I haven't done the calculation yet, but uh, they will come. I'm gonna make this static actually, so I can refer to it from anywhere. There's no, nothing in here that's gonna be used more than once. So, um, new x, y uh, is equal to uh, calculator dot calculator dot calculate x position. And then we need these um, uh, view from and view to. The x, y, and z are pretty simple. These are just the y and I and the I. So, um, the view from and view to, we got those from the screen class, but you can't really access them. So I'm gonna make, gonna make these static, so we can access them from the polygon object. So in here, we're gonna write screen dot view from and screen dot view to. So now we're gonna do the same for the y variables yeah so now I'm actually going to start I'm gonna make the variable here now I'm actually gonna start the calculation I'm just gonna write new x and new y so now this class is basically almost done but now we're gonna make the calculations so first off, we need to set some stuff. So um, gonna make a void. It's gonna call it set stuff. Seems like a, a a fitting name. So first off, we need an an a vector, and I'm actually gonna make a new class for these uh, vectors. We're gonna use a lot of vectors. So call it vector. And it's gonna make a constructor, public vector double x, double y, and double z. And then I'm gonna make the variables here as well. I'm gonna set the variables so we can access them. This will be uh, useful later, but right now it's pretty 
pretty useless, but just wait and see. So in here, the first vector we're gonna make is from the viewpoint where we're viewing from to where we're viewing to. We're gonna be making this. It's pretty simple. Um, set stuff. We will be needing some input here. Um, view from and view to are gonna be the inputs. We're gonna have the same arguments here. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna make this static, so static as well. So we'll make a new vector. Um, view vector view vector equals new vector. I'm gonna write the view from um, x minus actually view to x minus the view from oh sorry zero view from zero meaning the x value. This pretty much uh, means that um, we're gonna be uh, pointing from uh, this from and then to to it's, yeah it's pretty simple you don't have to understand everything it will get very complicated so if you just follow me so I'm gonna take the y values and the set values So now we've made a vector from our viewpoint to uh, where we are looking at. So now we need another vector. Um, this is going to be the vector inside our, um, our uh, viewpoint. Uh, 